Just a little quick update everyone. Um, since I last posted a video, I've installed Magic Lantern software on my TTY. I totally love it. I have migrated from Final Cut Pro 7 to Final Cut Pro 10. I love it. And I got this uh, just this last week. It's a Contour Design Shuttle Express um, jog wheel. Um, it's really nice. And I'll, I'll actually have videos, dedicated videos to each one of those things um, uh, coming up soon. But the reason why I, I'm, I'm shooting this video right now is because I want to uh, address something that, that I've been getting some requests for. My last video was my $6 do-it-yourself um, jib, jib crane that was based on a tripod leg. And I had a lot of fun making that video and I had a lot of fun designing that, that, that crane. But, uh, and I've had a lot of requests from people wanting to see footage of it actually being in use. And I've actually used it on a couple of projects since I built it. And but um, the reason why I haven't been um, really uh, sharing a lot of the footage yet is, is because I've encountered some problems with this design that I just can't fix. Well, it's not really a problem with the design per se, but it's a problem with the materials that I chose to use for the arm, namely the tripod leg. Now, what first attracted me to using a tripod leg in the first place were two reasons. First of all, it's strong. I knew the weight of the camera and the counterweight together would not cause a lot of bowing and flexing in, in the arm. So I knew, I knew it was going to be strong enough. Secondly, it's compactable. It is very transportable. Everything just collapses and you can take it with you. And that's, the, that's, what, that's what really attracted me to using that as my jib arm. But very early on when I first mounted the camera to the jib arm, I noticed that it, because the weight was on the side of, of the arm, it actually tended to twist it. So I tried to compensate by this by actually bending the, the L bracket that the camera mounts to and so that when the weight came down and it twisted it would still be oriented level with the ground. But the only problem with that is that the twisting that's happening, that's occurring, isn't uniform. As the camera travels from the ground up, it starts off in a kind of a, a clockwise tilt, like by, by that much. Then as it gets level to the ground, where your, your, your arm is actually level to the ground, it's perfectly, perfectly level. There's no t twisting at all. But then as it gets higher in the air, it continues to twist and goes into more of a counterclockwise twist. Now, I don't know why it's doing this. It, it almost seems like the weight is being shifted from the back of the arm to the front of the arm as it's going up. Um, I can't explain this. I don't know why. I don't know the physics of it, but I do know that it's twisting, and I don't like it. I've been able to fix the footage that I've that I have ha I've captured in post by reorienting it using using keyframing, um, and I can still use my design the way the way it is now as long as I keep that in mind. I just have to plan my shots accordingly, knowing full and well that I'm going to have to do some cropping in order to adjust for the orientation. That does tend to mess up the way that you frame your shots a little bit because you have to go, okay, well, I have to actually zoom out a little bit because I know that this much space is probably going to be used when I when I fix the orientation. So a little pain in the butt. So obviously the answer to this is that I need to redesign the jib arm itself using stronger materials, and I will do that as soon as possible. That's this one of four videos that's coming up. So the first video is going to be about Magic Lantern. second video is going to be about Final Cut Pro 10. Third video is going to be about about the uh, the Shuttle Express, and the final video is going to be talking about. Uh, hopefully, by then I will have rebuilt and 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 uh, re redesigned the jib arm for my my do-it-yourself crane. So keep keep watching. Uh, um, I'll keep you posted, and uh, I'll be posting regularly. Thanks again for watching, and thanks for for uh, for subscribing, and uh, keep this going. Thanks a lot.